G'day everyone, just thought I'd do a quick video on the dead easy dirt pedal that I was going to do for a uh, possible uh, build a guitar pedal in 10 minute video, uh, but I don't think it's a very good choice because it's kind of got a few issues. Um, the first one is that uh, the LM386, from what I'm learning, can vary between one to the next, and the one that I've, partic that I've got in particular, being the UTC uh, branded uh, LM386, must have a capacitor connected from plus to ground. I don't know if they all need that, but this particular one does. And if you don't have it there, uh, it will make it will just sound pretty bad. Um, and and the the critical part actually in in this little lesson is actually you have to have that capacitor very close to where the IC is. Um, you know, like within a few centimeters, I guess. Uh, otherwise, it just doesn't work properly. I'll show you that now. Um, I've got a 2.2 microfarad capacitor connected from the plus to the minus right near the um, the capacitor and it sounds as it should, it sounds proper at the moment. It's got a bit of a, um, bit of a hissy sort of top end, but it doesn't sound too bad, the, cir the circuit that is. Um, but if I just, you know, whip that capacitor out, see what happens. So I'm not really, I'm not underestimating um, when I say that it sounds like crap. It, it really does sound like crap. Um, and unless that capacitor is in there, it's just, it's just bad news for everyone. It just doesn't sound very good at all. Just pop that back in, hopefully without deafening us. And there we go, back to normal again. I've also found that the diode selection is pretty important too, and um, you can get some pretty nasty stuff with that as well. Um, I was before, but um, uh, yeah, if I have two diodes on, um, so at the moment I've got it set to a uh, IN34A with a very low forward voltage of 0.33 volts, and it gets, of course, it gets ridiculously loud because um, because of the voltage. But if I whack another diode on. No, sorry, correction. They're both on IN34A. And it just doesn't sound nice. I mean, it's pretty damn loud. Alright, let's try that again. So with the diode selection at the moment, I've got them both set to um, set to 7, which is a IN34A. With a 0.33 forward voltage. Doesn't sound too bad. I might just switch, I'm going to turn one of the diodes off. Um, the voltage obviously goes up. Oh, sorry, the volume goes up. Doesn't sound too bad either. Um, I was getting some really bad results with the with the diode selection before, but now it's um, now it's working. And, I mean, this is just the sort of experience that I'm getting with the LM386. It's just... It's it's just got a mind of its own, um, which is why I didn't do the um, build a guitar pedal in ten minute video. Um, but this is yeah that that capacitor from the from the plus to the ground is the is the most important thing. I don't have anything else going on here. I don't have anything on the input. Um, the only thing I've got on the output is a um, a electrolyte capacitor. I think I actually put I changed that before. I don't think it's the um, the one that they suggest. Yeah, it's actually um, it's actually a 47 microfarad capacitor on the output, which um, doesn't really make a hell of a lot of difference. It just lets more bass through. Um, but um, yeah, that's the only difference. And um, oh yeah, and I've also got another capacitor, which goes from pin seven to ground, and that is another 47 microfarad capacitor. And I think I just found that that sort of filtered out a bit of noise, but I might just test that now. Yeah, it sounds a bit better with that um, capacitor in place, but um, yeah, so that was just a 47 microfarad capacitor from pin 7 to ground. 
And of course, this is on maximum gain at the moment on the Decade box. It's um, not sure if you can see that in the video, but it's actually, there's no resistance on it. So it's basically a short circuit. So if we just whack some um, resistance, volume decreases, but I've got a volume pot here, which is very touchy. So this is with the um, with the gain on 20, so it obviously doesn't have as much um, distortion, and it's a bit a uh, bit cleaner. So you obviously can replace that with a potentiometer that you could use for a gain control, um, which is a pretty sta pretty standard mod. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with the um, with the Dead Easy Dirt. Uh, it's Basically, just a smoky, um, a smoky amp with a few, a uh, few substitutes, a diode clipping on the end, um, and a few. Uh, the capacitor value is different on the output, um, but yeah, it's just pretty much a smoky amp. So um, that's the that's the dead e dead easy dessert, d dead easy dirt. Uh, but um, it's kind of not really dead easy. It's um, it's a bit of a um, it's a bit of a bugger to get to work properly. Uh, I managed to get it in the end, but um, there you go. So, yeah, I hope if you're building one, it helped you to get it going. And um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.